Welcome to the Nomadic Spaces podcast, where we talk all things interior design, tiny houses, and happy homes. Each week, we explore different interior design strategies, the unique challenges of small spaces, and delve into the incredible lifestyle of tiny homes. Whether you're a fellow tiny house dweller or simply have an interest in interior design, this show has something for you. Hi guys, welcome to week four of our home refresh challenge. We made it! This week, I didn't give you a heads up because I thought it might turn people away, but week four, we are gonna do the bathroom. And if you have more than one bathroom in your house, feel free to just pick the one that you think either, I would say, needs it the most, or the one that you use the most that's your personal bathroom. This is like a very overlooked part of most spaces, but it's very important because everyone spends some time there, some more than others. So. I just want to also say before we get into the bathroom, please be proud. If you've done all four of these weeks with me, I hope you've already noticed how your refresh space is positive, positively impacting your day to day. And if you're just joining, again, we're starting with our bathrooms, but there's no order to this. You can uh, start here and go back to the previous weeks, uh, or you can go ahead and skip back to week one where we started with our living room and then we moved through the kitchen and bedrooms to end up here. I figured if I put the bathroom at the beginning, yeah, it just might deter more people away. <laughs> it's not the funnest room usually, but again, that's it's often overlooked. We don't put as much attention and care typically into that space. So even though it's overlooked, it's a really important room and refreshing the bathroom can actually really have an impact on your daily routine and, and turn what is a daily routine into something that we become, becomes enjoyable and we're present for. Um, so like imagine just starting your day in a place that feels clean and modern and tailored to you. It doesn't just, you know, mean it's pretty. It, it actually, as we talked about, well-designed spaces can boost your mood. And especially in the bathroom, I think it can inspire us to take a little more time for self-care, uh, whether that's like a, a bath or a quick skincare, morning skincare routine. A bathroom refresh can really make these moments feel more like a treat uh, than a chore. By updating this personal space, we're investing in our own happiness and well-being every single day. Of course, we're going to channel Monica Geller again and start with the deep clean and declutter. Bathrooms are somewhere we, you know, often do wipe downs. I feel like we're good at maintaining the cleaning bathrooms, or at least I know, okay, maybe I'm just me, but the, for me, I'm good at cleaning maybe weekly mostly, wiping down, but I'm talking about like an all out deep clean, scrubbing nooks, cleaning grout, where every single nook and cranny is sparkling clean. Going through shelving, organizing shelving, maybe category categorizing your items in a way that that makes it easy to use i know i have like skincare hair care that you know that's just one example you can tackle clutter like a pro again giving each thing a proper place and or you're bidding it farewell um especially in the bathroom i feel like a lot of old bottles beauty products a lot of this stuff just tends to either like pile up in cabinets or it collects dust on a vanity uh, or on the counter and you all know that what about those ones that have like two drops left and you're just waiting for it to be totally empty. Maybe maybe it's empty. Um, let's open the new one. I know for myself, I'll have a new one sitting right there, but I wait so long, I have to get every drop. Let's just get rid of it. That's what we're doing right now. We're decluttering. So it served its purpose, but now it's just taking up our space. Be ruthless and let go of anything that isn't purposeful or enhancing your life. We don't want to forget about either mopping, uh, swiffering, whatever you do to clean the floor. Again, I talked about grout. Um, we definitely want to make sure we're cleaning grout. It's somewhere where a lot of grime builds up, especially in bathrooms. So if you have tile, like I do, you want to make sure you're staying on top of that. Uh, one of my little tips, I'm sure I'm not alone, but one of my favorite ways to to do the bathroom, because it is by far my least favorite place to clean or tidy, is turn on some high energy, like feel good music. That's probably different for all of us, but the kind that you like literally cannot sit still hearing and let that like just get into it, scrub to the beat. And before you know it, you'll be, you'll be through it. Um, so it really just makes the experience a whole lot more pleasant and fun. You can kind of zone out and not have to be, yeah, be in it for that. Another thing to look at is maybe updating bathroom fixtures and accessories. If you have old 
uh, vanity lights, really bright ones, uh, boob sconces, all that kind of thing. Maybe it's a, even like a faucet. If you've had a leaky faucet, it's time. Let's just replace it. If you have the type of faucets and handles that toothpaste, spit, and everything gets coagulated around. Maybe think about swapping out your sink hardware. It's actually really easy to do. You don't pull on plumber for that. Also think about maybe it's uh, soap dispensers, toothbrush holders, towel racks. These are all practical things in our bathrooms that are also an opportunity to add like a touch of glamour to our daily routines. And make sure you're choosing things. I've said this before, but it's most important that the space resonates with you. So choose items that reflect your personal style, whether whether it's more minimal or bold, whatever it is that speaks to you, integrate those. These small changes really can make a big impact and put the comfort and design into harmony in a space that you use often every day. I like to think of it as treating yourself, not just your home, but yourself to luxury. And it makes every day just feel a little more special. And I think we all need that these days. Think about things that you like. If you've been to a spa, what what have you experienced there that you can bring into your own space? Maybe it's plush towels, you know, the super fluffy ones that just like suck the water off of you. It feels like being in a cloud or candles. A lot of spas have really beautiful Zen smelling candles or luxurious bath products. Bring, bring that in, make this a luxury space for yourself. Once you do that, you're going to be more inclined to take care of yourself in that way. Hi friends. I hope you are enjoying this show. Listening to podcasts, and reading blogs like this is a great way to gain knowledge. But to really make change, you need to take action. Luckily, taking action doesn't have to be overwhelming, timely, or expensive. My Desk Refresh Guide is a great resource you can download totally free from the link in the show notes. This guide will break down the redesign steps with tangible results to transform your space without spending a cent. Now let's get back to the episode. Every other space, so great opportunity to bring in a touch of nature. Whether you have natural light may impact how many plants you want to bring in, but plants or bamboo accents, maybe stone accessories, nothing says relaxation like a little bit of Mother Earth. So bring it in there. And then we want to think about maximizing storage and functionality. Most people, not everyone, there I've done big bathrooms, but a lot of times, even in larger homes, the bathrooms maybe are, are lacking in square footage or proper storage. So we want to think about things like shelving, uh, cabinets, of course. Maybe it's uh getting a bigger vanity. I've seen really big bathrooms where the vanity is like a one sink tiny thing. Maybe we're putting in a double vanity and getting more storage underneath. Open shelving hooks, baskets, maybe wall-mounted cabinets. In the bathroom, I think it's appropriate to maybe if you have to have like some kind of over the door organizer, but just imagine how nice it will feel like stepping into that space to find everything in order and can find everything you need. You're not digging through old bottles or knocking shampoo and conditioner bottles off the side of the, the shower. It just, imagine how that would feel. It feels good. So with the right combination of storage, your bathroom is gonna look Pinterest worthy or more Pinterest worthy. So again, uh, we talked about it, I think in the kitchen, visual clutter. So having a lot of bottles, that alone is, even if you use all of them as clutter. So think about how we can hide things. If you don't have a closed cabinet, for them. Maybe it's a basket. That's going to read visually as one piece as opposed to all the individual things that are in it. I hope that makes sense. To wrap up, taking the time to clean and refresh a space like your bathroom as much of a downer as it is, I feel like I procrastinate on the bathroom so much. It really, really does have such a positive impact on your daily life and mood. A clean bathroom just feels more inviting and it can be a peaceful retreat where you start and end your day. When it's tidy and feeling fresh, it just, it sets a tone of order and cleanliness to the rest of your home. Especially if you only have one bathroom in your home, your guests are gonna use it. It just, it says a lot about you and how you live. Again, think about adding some personal touch little hand towels or scented candles or something that elevates the space. It feels a little more luxury and it's tailored to your tastes. 
Guys, we did it. This is it. Congratulations. Please don't stop now. Let's take action this week and complete the four week home refresh challenge. I hope by now, if you've been with us, you're noticing that it feels lighter, brighter. Um, the clutter that was once there is now clear. I hope you're feeling all of the things. And if you're just starting with us, know that those feelings are coming. You can work backwards in any order that works for you. I'm just so happy you're here. Thank you all so much for being here and partaking in this challenge. That's it for our home refresh challenge. So next week I will be back with regular scheduled programming of the Nomadic Spaces podcast. So I look forward to seeing you then. Until then. Home happy. I hope you found today's episode helpful and inspiring. My goal with this show is to help others make changes that transform their space. But just absorbing content, even brilliant content like this, doesn't get results. Taking action does. If you are still listening, you might be ready to fully accomplish your design goals. My challenge to you is commit to taking one action right now before you don't. Taking action might look like booking a design project jumpstart, or maybe it's signing up for the free desk refresh guide, or maybe it's signing up for my mailing list, or maybe it's scheduling a complimentary connection call to virtually meet and discuss your design goals in more detail. You can find more about all those fun things I just mentioned, as well as reach out to me directly through my website, which is sukainteriordesign.com. That is S-U-K-K-H-A-I-N-T-E-R-I-O-R-D-E-S-I-G-N.com. I love connecting, so please don't be a stranger. As always, thank you for tuning in and for being a part of this community. If you liked what you heard on this episode or show, please take a second to like, review, subscribe, and share this podcast with your friends and family. It is truly the easiest way to show support for me and this tiny niche podcast. Until next time, take care and home happy.